March the 11th, 2014. This is an image of uh, Sunspot AR-2002. As you can see, as it comes around the western limb, it is really growing rapidly. And uh, it's been cracking and popping with M flares. Uh, I'm going to show you a still shot of it. Uh, it's become magnetically complex and has a lot of magnetic mixing and uh, if it keeps growing the way it is it could pop off an of X-Flare uh, it's something we need to keep an eye on it covers an area of about a hundred thousand kilometers which is huge and those little uh, little areas around those spots and the yellow the little bubbling areas you could fit the state of Texas in part of those. It is really, uh, really huge and growing. Uh, so we need to keep our eye on it. And uh, you know, it's like I say, it's turning earth facing. So we'll be under the gun for two or three days. Well, actually, longer than that if it kicks out a big X flare. But it's just something we need to keep an eye on. And I've. Uh, been taking a closer look at uh, Linear 209P. Uh, it's going to come across our North Pole, and on the 15th or 16th, it's going to going to be really the closest to us. And uh, depending on how much energy is built up, it could, uh, you know, it could be a mag uh, electrical discharge. Uh, if we get an X flare. From that sunspot, it may break it up, and uh, who knows what will happen if that happens. Uh, we could have major uh, uh, rocks coming in. Uh, it's going to pass in front of us and then cross the elit elit ecliptic plane. Uh, we could just have a beautiful meteor shower, or we could have some large debris coming in. And who knows what Earth's gravity is going to do to it. I mean, it's been by before, but this is the coast, closest a comet has ever passed the Earth that I know about anyway. Uh, but it's something to keep an eye on. It's a heads up. Stay safe and keep your eyes on the sky. And God bless.